How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to watch One Piece episode 344. Last episode, the Straw Hats found out they were on Gecko Moria's ship. It seems like they're already going to confront each other. Let's see what Moria is all about. If you'd like to help support our channel, our Patreon link is down in the description below. You'll get early access to all the videos that we post onto our YouTube channel, and you get full uncut reactions to the One Piece series. If you're interested in those, make sure to check it out. Now on to the anime. Keep on show. It's like when you go into a haunted house, except they are not going to be scared of any of the screamers. <laughs> He's so excited, honestly. The boss is in there? <gasps> Poor Chopper, he loves him. He's gonna have to fight him. Oh my god! I think you're right. I think he's just a fan. What? <laughs> That's the scary guy. ユーマ研究所の中ご覧になりましたかそれは実に麗しきお嬢さんビューティフォルビジンに目がないんですシンギラだから目ですけどもよわあ、いつやあ、いつやあ、いつやあ、いつやあ、いつやあ、いつやあ
<laughs> Dude, these crewmates are so weak. Bring these all back up he to the show. Honestly. <laughs> Are these zombies gonna be significant? They keep showing them. It's part of this night raid thing, but don't really know what they're setting up with it. Is that a disco ball? They're gonna dance. <laughs> no, they're not. What? Huh? I was thinking it was like like an egg or something, but it does kind of look like it. Doesn't it? <laughs> like they're gonna, like, Why are they gonna do though? They're gonna hang it and start dancing. Why would they do that? They'll dance the thriller. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> He's up to something, I guess. He always disappears. <laughs> it's just an act? <laughs> they don't give a shit. <laughs> They're ignoring him. この子たちを脅して本当のことを喋るとも七部会激高森いいねみんなこれあその直口にしただけで身も凍りそうだじゃあそのモリアってバカに伝えとけ俺の仲間の身に何か起きたらお前をこの島ごと吹き飛ばし
A sacrifice? Is that going to the Mor Moria? I think so. They're gonna get eaten. I wonder if these guys are actually gonna be a threat. General Zombies, General what? Zombies. I mean, they're at the same level as that swordsman guy from earlier, and apparently he came from the New World, new, Wano. Yeah, Wano, New World. So, I'm assuming they are really strong, right? Because to, for you to get to that point, you would have had to be really strong when you were alive. So I'm assuming, like, something happened, they died, and then Hogback Hawk retrieves their body and turns them into zombie and mm -hmm. then uses them. Yeah. Because I guess, like, to some degree, they might keep some of their skills. But it's hard to say because Sindri didn't keep any of her force. But they do yeah. say that the general zombies are, like, different from the, the other zombies. The body or something yeah. different. Like, maybe wonder... they're able to like uh, t keep more of their skills that they had when they were alive mm -hmm. in comparison to the more failed ones. Oh yeah, yeah. maybe those are those just one the the ones that are outside. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe the samurai zombie could it be like they took Brooks' shadow and they shoved it in him. That's what I was thinking too, because it was like, why does he have Brooks' exact personality? But then that's weird too, because then that means. Moria is doing that, but working with Hogback? Well, Hogback's the doctor for him, I, I don't know. Maybe they still need to give them like a personality or soul. Maybe the shadow represent like somewhat their soul or something. Soul or power or something? Yeah, I think soul, because like the body should keep the power, I think. Otherwise then that means that Brooke would be the one that can fight, right? But I don't think he is the one that can fight. It's the body that came from the from the dead samurai. I think Brooke keeps his regular power. He just can't walk into sun and then maybe the shadow has the personality? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Because it yeah. seems like the samurai mummy, right? He's a mummy? Yeah, he's a mummy. Yeah, he's retaining his own skills, but he's acting like Brooke. He's acting like Brooke, yeah. But why does it matter, like, if they have the personality or not? Like, who cares? I don't know. Maybe there's a benefit, like, they become more human. Is, is that it? Like, they become closer to being revived? Oh, Like, oh, he okay. can't really retrieve the dead person's personality, maybe. So he needs to go steal other people oh, okay. fill it. I don't know, that's, that's... And they do that through the shadow? That's so weird. Know. The shadow, I do not think that's like... It's my first weird. thought is not that the soul is in the shadow. <laughs> the the personality, right? <laughs> yeah, the personality. And then it's like, they're also like trying to like feed Gekko Moria the shadow. So it's like, does he eat it then? Or does he give it to people? Or does he only eat the weak ones? I, I don't know. Yeah, that's you know the I mean? weird part right now. We don't know because we assumed that he ate all of them. Yeah. But then it seems like Brooke is part of this samurai guy, but <laughs> the only explanation would have been the shadow because they yeah, stole the shadow. the shadow from Brooke. Uh -huh. But yeah, I don't know. That's so weird. I wonder if Zoro's going to steal his sword if he defeats him. I totally think that's going to happen. Because he's missing, yeah, yeah, he's missing a sword. Oh, he won't be able to fight us his full potential. Yeah, yeah. He'll have to get this one. No, but I think you are right that Hogback is just a creep the for Sindri. Oh, like he was just a fan, right? I think he's just a fanboy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. those obsessive fans. Uh -huh. That's I think that's what that room was. You know, it's like those dedicated shrine rooms yeah, to, to to her. to the to the celebrity. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Like, oh my god! If it was so like weird. the loved one, kind of like if he was the husband, like then there'll be pictures together. Together. Why mm -hmm. is it just one mm -hmm. person? It's kind of like creepy. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because I was thinking originally, like, oh, they were a partner or something, like, yeah. trying to make up, like, this tragic backstory <laughs> for him. But, yeah, I think you're right that he is just, like, a creep. Because, like, I think it clicked when he started addressing people with their names. Mm -hmm. He only says Sindri-chan, like, Sindri-chan. To her. And then, and then everyone else, he's just normal. So yeah. I feel like he he looks up to her, like, as a fan. Like, you would only act that way to a fa as if you are a fan, he right? He does, he does. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like, the plate thing is actually like the personality that they gave her. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So in a way, maybe he's not lying. Like, right. The personality could be from someone uh, who did um, 
th- broke the plates off their husband or whatever. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Then she, since he's trying to introduce who she is now, but since she has that person's personality, yeah. she he would introduce her with that personality because yeah, right. then it has. Aside from her appearance, she has nothing to do with the Sindri from mm-hmm. before, yeah. from her body. That's that's the trust true. If if this whole shadow transferring thing is related, I think it does different. have something to do with it because it shows that the zombies don't really keep their well, at least these ones have yeah, not really the kept their personalities. Yeah. What is the point of the zombies? They are just comedic, dancing. Comedic relief. <laughs> Right? Is that the point of that? I mean, you were you like you said, you weren't scared of them anymore. They were just That's like, true. They were, they were showing us them. Um, but it's episode. the fact that they're still on screen, you know? Like, I feel yeah. like the comedy aspect, maybe, is mm-hmm. like, we should be moving past it now. Because they already Introduce. served their role, if that yeah. is their only purpose. But mm-hmm. I feel like they're still bringing them up, and it's, they're showing that... Um, they're following... Oh, Absalom. They, they're they showing that the zombies are still following Absalom's orders, despite Absalom seeing that they got wrecked by the crew. Yeah. So that I feel like there is some other purpose, because it's like, why are they still getting commanded to do all this stuff mm-hmm. if they actually can't do anything else? I feel like they can do something. They're just not showing it right now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but maybe. they're trying to be like, oh, look, the crew... The So first they make us feel really, sh- really scared with mm-hmm. Nami and them. Then they kind of like relieve that a bit with Luffy. And yeah. then now that we feel relieved, now we don't take them seriously. And then they show something else that's going to blow our mind. I feel like they'll do that. Right? Maybe maybe with like this Moria guy. Like he has to be super strong. Yeah, because right now so far, I feel like I cannot take any of his crew seriously yeah. really. But They're maybe, just him. For him. maybe him. Maybe yeah. him, yeah. He has to be. Yeah. He's one of the warlords. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps with the channel. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.